Hey, my beautiful angel, it's Josie, and welcome to this beautiful day on our beautiful planet. In this video, I want to talk to you about higher power. Whether you call this power angels, whether you call this power your spirit guides, ascended masters, maybe you just speak to your own higher self. This power is available to you. I've noticed that not many people actually use that power, the infinite power, the intelligence that comes from higher dimensions of consciousness. And strangely enough, this power is always ready to help us. And it's interested in evolution of consciousness. It is interested to help you, to help me, to become aware of new possibilities, creative possibilities for ourselves and also for our planet. Now, I've been working with angels for a long, long time. You may have your own relationship with angels or perhaps you have spirit guides or healers on the other side. Maybe you like to read spiritual books and visualize and meditate and create your own process of connection with that higher power. But once you engage with it, once you connect with that higher power, angels, they begin to work with you. They don't really work for you. They're not servants, but they begin to work with you, which means that they're helping you somewhere along the way. You begin to notice like some intelligence opens doors for you. You happen to be at the right place at the right time and connecting with people in various places. And then it gets more and more clear to you. All right, so it must be the angels or it must be some other strange force or power is assisting me in this moment. Now, the extension of your own consciousness is your higher self. It's you on another dimension, on another, on another level. The higher self is that wiser aspect of you, the wiser in the sense of knowing. And your higher self somehow communicates with these beings. You may not understand or see how you communicate with these beings, but strangely, they just, they just come and they help you. They assist you if you ask or sort of there was an urgency in your life to create something. Magically, miraculously, these forces come to your, to help you and you manifest things into your reality. Now you have a higher aspect, which is your higher self, and your higher self speaks the language of these angels and beings, ascended masters, and it doesn't even matter which, which words you're using. You can just say universe or God, and it's okay. You don't have to have some, something in between. For a lot of people, and myself included, it is helpful if we have these helpers. We have angels kind of assisting us, guiding us daily. And I grew up Catholic, so it feels, it felt, not anymore, but it felt like some God consciousness is so big and so important, and I wasn't even significant in the sense to even ask the divine power. So it's okay, I felt like angels could understand me more. I was so more relate relatable to angels, with angels, rather than some kind of God consciousness somewhere out there. So you begin to use these resources as your higher self, as higher aspect of you, <laughs> as a higher aspect of your own being. And it's, it's a beautiful process because you open up. You open up your consciousness, right? You begin to spend more time in the present moment. 
You're not distracted by your past or your future. Your thoughts are here and now. And your higher self can bring so much wisdom and awareness into the present moment. Because present moment essentially is when you align with everything, with all life, with all that is. And because you're here in now, you're in this present moment, everything that you want, everything you truly desire just happens. You don't have to do anything. If you need protection, protection happens. If you need assistance with a certain situation, your situation magically resolves. So when you almost explore this domain, you don't have to have all the answers, but you have to know that you have your higher self. It's you existing on, on a different level, not from a level of your physical body, but from the level of your higher awareness. That's when you can really connect with these higher beings, whether you call them angels or any other power. So in the present moment awareness, you receive creative, intuitive insights. You receive ideas. You begin to think clearly. You begin to receive insights and guidance about your situation. And it's a beautiful thing. It's truly a magical flow of life. You begin to experience life on the level of your higher awareness. You feel one with everything. No one and nothing is separate from you. You are here. You are at the right place at the right time. And all the forces of the universe magically collaborate to, to help you, to be of service to you, to make your life magical. So in the realm of angels, they're not somewhere out there. They are not in another universe or on a, like a, in another level of, of, the, of heaven, another level of the sky. They're here and now. But the language that you're using to communicate with people is not always effective when you communicate with that higher power. And that's where you engage your higher self. It's almost like you surrender to the higher wisdom within you. And you say, guide me. Whatever you are, wherever you are, guide me. Help me to understand my life's purpose, my life's journey. And you experience miracles. Miracles, that's what happens when you align yourself with the universe <laughs> on every dimension. All things are possible. You're not separated from anything and anyone. You're here and in this moment. And it's a beautiful thing. It's kind of like opening up. Instead of constricting, instead of, I need protection. Universe, you've got to protect me. I feel so unsafe. But then you just open up and you say, let this be. Let me be guided. I am open to receive guidance. I love this life. I love this life. This is a magical, miraculous life experience. And I'm so happy that in my sort of brief moment in eternity, cold hundred years of my life, I am witnessing the miracle of everything that is happening around me. And this is what you say love. And angels are there to express more love, deeper love, bigger love, more expensive love. And feeling that helps, helps them as well, right? More love for you, more love for me, more love for all of us, more love for this planet, and more love for the universe. We're all one. So today I encourage you to connect with your angels or the higher power and almost let this power guide you. Say, I'm available. I am open. What can I do to learn from, from this day? Instead of kind of pushing 
your ideas into the universe or asking universe for anything today let the universe talk to you okay let the universe communicate something to you whether it's just a, an idea maybe it's an experience and you're just there you're witnessing your presence witnessing the events of your life and this is magical way to be sending you lots of love be well be blessed i'll chat with you in the next video